um, one of the things that we could do today is collect some seeds because um, I can see that it's going to rain and you should do that when it's still very dry so that there is a good chance for germination. So what you need are paper bags, never take plastic because plastic keeps the moisture in and the seeds have to actually dry out. So I have these little sandwich bags actually and I'm going to collect seeds from the foxgloves. So I'll show you in a minute how I do that. So label it, foxgloves. And the variety that I'm going to collect is um, uh, Sutton's apricot. Wah, I can't write. <laughs> Sutton's apricot and a date. So today is the hmm, July? 4th of July. Yes, thank you. 4th of July, happy 4th of July. <laughs> so let's go around first with the foxgloves Sutton's apricot. As you see, I've got my snips. <laughs> In my back, probably not the right place to put it, but never mind. So, let's just, uh, I'm just going to take you to the foxgloves, to the such an apricot, and then we can start collecting. So, this one, as you can see, this has already formed nice seed heads, it's already quite dry. Um, the way to uh, because the seeds are really really tiny for foxgloves so I'm just going to shake it and I can hear rustling and so a good thing to do is I have to cut it down anyway so what I'm going to do and I have lots of ladybugs which is really great so I'm gonna encourage them to go to some other plant and then just snip it here for now because as you can see there is a second growth that coming Normally, what would have been good, which I didn't do, I should have cut it down a lot earlier so that a second shoot can, a sh second growth can come, but never mind. And then I turn it around very carefully and I just start to shake. And if you can see inside the bag what's happening, so I'm just shaking. And you see, I have loads of seeds inside. So it's very, very tiny. I'm just shaking this, shaking this, shaking this. Okay. And I can shake everywhere because I want them everywhere. So now I have, just from one little stem, I have lots of seeds, but I'm greedy. So I'm going to collect some more. Okay, this one's already empty because this had already. Well, I'm just putting that there. I'm going to collect it. Take it around, turn it around, shake it into the paper bag. That's right, discard it. And I'll just do that with all of these ones. And then so this one has some little insects. I don't feel that disturbing, but it doesn't look very nice, does it? So I'm going to, to check that out. So, I think the rest I'm just going to take them down and, um, you know, cut them down, clean up a little bit at the bottom and then this should be good for the rest of the year so I just want to show you what we have here I don't know if you can see that it's almost like very very fine sand and each of these these are seeds that are going to grow has the potential to grow into one plant so this is a great way to collect so I'm going to seal it so now we've got the foxgloves going. So let's collect some uh, nigella. Remember the variety. I don't remember the variety because I have two varieties. One is the African Bride and the other one is the Damascena, it's they're both the Nigella Damascena. But I'm just gonna collect the seeds and once they bloom next year then I will know 
what kind it was and I should remember to label bad gardener. <laughs> I see these seed heads, they are actually also really, really beautiful. And sometimes I like to use the seed heads in, in arrangements as well, but I do want the seeds because I do want more of them. So good thing to do again, dab them. And if you can hear the sound, and I, I don't know if you can see that. You see these black points? These are actually the seeds of the nigella. They've already fallen here on the ground. I would have liked them to fall that side, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna go in and start with this one and kind of do the same thing just, just put them in one bunch and then turn them upside down and shake them In India, we use that in cooking quite a lot, the, the seeds. In other parts of the world as well, I suppose. So, and if you're not sure if everything has come out, just give it a squeeze, these little covers, and then it should just pop out, like you can see, you can see here, actually. And now, squeeze this, you see? That's what's... Ah, don't, 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 don't. Or fall, fall, fall there. Mm -hmm. Not on the path, but in the... Ah, there. So, do the same thing. Sometimes what people do is if they want to have a true seed and if they don't want the um, seeds to fall before, so they put paper bags upside down on top of the seed heads, tie them on so that way you're really sure that the seeds are going to be collected. So, let's take this one, same story, take it and give it a good old shake. But, this one's empty, this one's empty, this one has some. Just gonna okay. Let's see. I can open this. This one's empty. Almost empty. What about this? No. So they have lost all their seeds already. Interesting, but they look beautiful, don't they? They look very structural. They can be used in arrangements. Right, let's get another one. This one, with this one, was a dark one. As you can see that from the from the heads as well. This was a blue, a dark blue one. So this one has seeds. Oh, this one has lots. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Ah, this is what I like. Ah, da, 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 da. And this one is lost too. So, getting quite a bit of it, which is lovely, which is beautiful. There, you see. Oh, this one's beautiful. So everything goes in this bag. we can have beautiful plants next year but this year I'm going to experiment um, with uh, something that Stella said in the last interview that I had with her is that I'm going to actually start sowing these ends of this year so they can um, bloom a little earlier next year that'll be good just experiment I think I've got enough Nigella for now. Let's see. I just want to show you these are a little bigger seeds, as you can see. 
Or maybe I should just get a couple more. to also show you the sweet peas that I've collected so I just went and just got the pods from the from the trees from the sorry from the plant and I'm just taking the seeds off these dried pods and then should be ready to go into the ground either in December or in January just to make sure we have an early crop because this year I was actually quite late and when this when the heat hits and it gets, starts to get very warm then very difficult for sweet peas to survive because they prefer the cooler weather. Take some aquilegia um, seeds as well. So I think I ran out of sandwich bags, but I have little envelopes. So aquilegias. Aquilegias is something I absolutely love. But they prefer the cooler weather as well. So my idea is, is that once um, the shrubs have grown and we have a lot more shade, when the garden is not that exposed anymore, then I can put them in, in between where they actually like the shade. So, okay. Here between my yarrow and that's it, Lydia. So I don't remember the colors, but it really doesn't matter they're all very beautiful so i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to go right down to the plant and i can hear this is full of seeds i can hear it rattle <laughs> all right and then turn it upside down and just give it a good old shake and shake everywhere <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Now because I'm not too concerned about the colors because I really want acrylic just just acrylic just everywhere. I'm going to just go ahead and grab this one as well. And uh, and not really bother whether it's purple or pink or white or good on there as well. So I have three absolutely beautiful seed heads and now I'm just going to shake it again so now as you can see I have loads of acrylicious and now I'm gonna go around and shake this throughout the garden a better thing to do would have been to first remove the weeds and then sow the seeds but most of the time I'll be able to tell the aquilegia seeds you can um, the thing is when they come out already the first two leaves they start to look like the aquilegia leaves so you would know if that's a weed or not because it is going to have this very beautiful fan shape and then you know that's not a weed that's a plant that you want and desire you should not take off I talk such rubbish. <laughs> <laughs>
one and the last one that I'm going to collect seeds from uh, are poppy but this special poppy the one that's called Shirley's mix and um, because that is like a really beautiful poppy and I think that uh, I mean other than of course um, taking the plant and putting them in the ground when they have uh, uh, baby plants developing I would also like to grow some from seeds um, so it's always the same story with collecting seeds so you cut them shake them put them in a dry envelope and it should be good or a paper bag it always has to be good yeah? all right let's see i'm just going to these are all the shirley's mix poppies and so As you can see, the beautiful seed heads. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unless some of them are already empty, which I don't know. So we'll see. And these are tiny, 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 tiny seeds. Th this is really like sand, you know, the foxgloves and the puppies. I mean, look at it. It's it's on my hand. Do you see? Do you see how tiny these are? I mean, there's dust, of course. Then these are seeds. So you see, just from that little thing, I got that much. So that's it's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna get maybe just one more, just to show you, just in one. Looking for a ripe one, that one. So this. So that's all the seeds that I got. So I don't need more than that because I have lots of puppies around here. The thing is that once you have a plant established and going and collecting seeds is a really, really good way to have more of the plants. And since I have started concentrating, just I actually started building the garden from this part and then whatever is growing and I want more of and then I can collect seeds and, and grow them on and move them to the rest of the garden so that way um, you have plants that you like and you can grow them somewhere else and you can actually do it yourself which is a lot of fun and saves you, um, saves you some cash which is always a good thing. So gardening doesn't always have to be very expensive and you can always get, get new plants. The <laughs> Coco. So a good way to also uh, create more plants from existing plants is of course to take little baby plants for example the yarrow. Uh, you see the yarrow really likes this hot and, uh, and dry uh, climate here so it grows to really nice height and this one can also be divided. So if you just look inside I just want to show you and I'm, I am going to do this at one point taking these things off as you see there is a new plant and now what I can do later on I'm not gonna do that right now is I can just take this one off with a little bit of root and then put it somewhere else and then we're gonna have lots of yarrows. that's how all the yarrows in the garden actually came up because I just had it in one place and then I just started to move them throughout the garden so that now we have one really nice um, big clump here and then we've got uh, I'll just show you where the other clump is where it actually feels very very happy and, and grows it's, it's right there so this is all clump from the from the parent clump so that's another one where this is this, this is quite happy growing here and then I've got another smaller one there that side next to the strawberries and the rose and the rosemary so that's that's a good way and that's how i'm going to move it throughout throughout the garden so okay now we've collected some nice seeds so welcome to my personal jungle i call this my personal jungle because 
I don't go here very often. <laughs> it's completely overgrown. I should do something about it. Uh, and I will. So one of the things, of course, one of the tasks that I have to do is get rid of these creepers because these are very invasive. They grow everywhere and you need to take them off. So I'm going to clear this pot because I do want to be able to go to that corner. So clear that up, maybe cut this one down a little bit so that it has a beautiful shape. I might have to cut back the mint in about, um, I don't know, let us say maybe three weeks, four weeks. So to cut it, take it right down to the bottom so that there's new fresh growth. As you can see right now, it's, it's, all, it's very mature, it's big, it looks beautiful, but I do want to have the fresh growth of the mint again. So this is another shop, so I have to, I need to navigate my way through here. And then I have just one. This is just one passion flower. And it's crazy. So this is a flower, those are the fruits. And then, yeah, slowly work my way through this to clear it all up, clean it up. Always something left to do. Mm -hmm.